Hey Physique Freaks, how's it going? Scott Tuzna, MetabolicMasterpiece.com. It's Tuesday, November 17th. Gonna have some footage from our shoulder workout as well as every meal that I eat for the day. Sharing my thoughts on this whole cutting phase experience. Let's get at it. Okay, at 6.30, grab myself a cup of coffee with a drop of 2% milk. 9.30, brought chief for a walk. <laughs> it's hard to be in a bad mood when you see that face looking at you. Love starting my day like this. Uh, Chief tries to take a few pee breaks along the way, but uh, we do move at a really good pace. 10.30, eight egg whites, an extra large egg, spinach, mushrooms, peppers, cooked in half a tablespoon of coconut oil, and topped with a bit of ketchup. Train a client at noon, right after that, one o'clock. Went on the recumbent spin bike for 10 minutes intervals, and then 10 minutes on the stair climber, got home, had myself a two-third cup of oats, three-quarter cups of blueberries, and a scoop of protein powder. Just after that, Saw Angie having uh, coffee with hot chocolate, so I decided to have some myself. Normally we don't. She just picked up this instant coffee. Um, it's just a nice little treat there. Two tablespoons of the hot chocolate mix, which is 100 calories. Just a little nice treat on a cool fall day. Dinner time, Angie made some pizza buns. So that's an English muffin, some kibasa cheese pizza sauce, but three ounces of chicken and some veggies. Quarter after six, a fiber one bar, head out to train a client, and then at eight o'clock, we blasted shoulders, training with Rick and Paul tonight, both of them in their early 50s, Paul's 51, Rick's 52, and uh, I just, well, first of all, I love love seeing the details in the shoulders and the upper pecs, the arms, love the trap bar overhead press. You can do this standing up, I really love having the back support there. Nice, slow negative at the end here. Again, I just love the neutral grip, feels great on the shoulders, and I love that it can keep my neck in a neutral position as well. Uh, we did start the workout off with eight sets of eight on the Y press. Love Y presses, it's just a total different feel for the delts. I find it really hits the lateral aspect of the delts. Uh, so after those two exercises, we hit some chest supported rear delt raises, really trying to hit those rear delts here, keeping those shoulder blades fairly open, trying to reach out for the walls and really keep that tension on the rear delts. Takes a little focus. Rick was bringing his hands in closer. When uh, my buddy Brian Cron, my co-host of the Modern Musclehead podcast, came to visit me in June, he, uh, he demonstrated this by not bringing the hands together, really keeping the tension on the rear delts. So only coming down to low enough um, where you're getting a stretch, but you're not relaxing in the bottom. All the tension stays on the rear delts and really like seeing mine pop out there. One of my favorite exercises, love blasting the rear delts. It's really made a, a big difference in my, uh, in my back poses. Love seeing the details in, uh, in my shoulders there, all the striations. They're really starting to come through now. Here we're doing some 21s. So seven lower, really keeping that tension. You can tell I'm keeping the tension on my shoulders when you see those striations there. I'm not relaxing at all in the bottom. Just really, really keeping that tension on the delt. So I like to have my pinkies leading the way. It's the one thing I really love about using cables for this is that uh, the way you're holding on to the ends, I'm not using a handle, I'm just grabbing onto that ball at the end. It just automatically gets me to drive those pinkies up. Seeing some more vascularity in the shoulders. Uh, not the best lighting, especially on the rear delts, uh, the raises there. Um, during the daytime, there's a lot more detail. We see our muscles popping out a bit more, but hey, we'll take this. Uh, sometimes that half natty lighting can be deceiving to us and make us think we're bigger and more cut than we are. But <laughs> this uh, this evening light, it's kinda, kind of, um, I don't know, keeps our ego in check. And here we got Rick. Same thing, 21, seven lower, seven upper. He, uh, he usually ends up with his palms just kind of facing down rather than the pinkies leading the way. But again, you can see that he's keeping that constant tension on those delts. Just looking solid, looking ripped. Love training with these guys. The camaraderie is absolutely awesome. So this is eight at night where I just follow Rick's schedule. He's a few days on, he works 12 hour shifts. Um, and then afterwards, post-workout one and a quarter cups of plain Greek yogurt and a cup of mixed berries. 